Fashion is synonymous with being provocative, but when faith and fashion meet, when does it cease to be art and become a cultural collision? Until autumn this year, the Cinema of Prayoga project will be touring the country with selected films which actually showcase the development of Indian art cinema over a period of 90 years. These include The Secret History of India, films from two founding periods of Indian cinema. The international art market, so that's Paris, New York, London. Not anymore. According to those in the know, the hottest work right now is coming out of India. Did you know that the average person in the UK gets through 38 kilos of newspaper per year? But the good news is that 80% of the raw materials that go into making this come from recycled paper. With upgraded railway lines and faster trains, the commuter belt is actually spreading outwards. A new high-speed link is making East Kent a new commuter hotspot. In fact, some estate agents are predicting a 14% rise in house prices in certain areas. And would you ever have thought of commuting from Somerset to London? Because a high-speed rail link now means that house prices are rising there too. Did you know that there are 50,000 bottle banks like this across the UK? And by recycling just one bottle like this, you could save almost enough energy to power a 100-watt light bulb for almost an hour. Fashion is personal, religion is personal, but they're both open to interpretation. At the moment, it's very hard to be a modern, cool, secular designer unless you have respect and cultural awareness. <laughs> Seven! <laughs> I do hope your house hunting skills are better than your croquet skills. Whoa! Okay, and the wild one, which is a little bit further south, so they're going out further. That's the only thing that can detract, I think. Otherwise, it's completely ready to move into. Everything is of a high standard. It's also got a lovely, lovely outside area, garden, path, run of beans even if you want them, and two bedrooms. Five people in a shower. Well, you suggested two. I thought that was mischievous. Five is uh, an outright, I don't know what's going on there. Maybe, you know. Party. Party. That doesn't make it any better. <laughs> we have all discovered Bishop's Itchington, haven't we? Which is not a dermatological disease for the clergy. No, it's not. But if you're out there, right, and you want to find a property in an equally silly named place, for instance, maybe... Uh, uh, Hazily Bottom. Hazily Bottom sounds funny, or... Uh, middle Wallop. Middle Wallop is good. Or what about... Licky End. Yes. They like them. What is that, Ed? It's that. They slant. Cottagey. In spite of the inclement weather, yeah. I think that was a great success. A massive, whopping, gigantic, big success. Because we've proved you can find a lovely house like that for not that much money. But if you're struggling to find a property, please don't hesitate to contact the show. See you soon. Bye-bye. For me, it's the whole concept of having to respond to something that's not there. I've had that experience. A great many times with a lot of my colleagues. <laughs> you said that you're not sure about acting as a profession and, and whether it's something you, you want to continue doing. Is that right? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Did you work out or are you naturally that buff? Yeah, no, no. I worked out like a madman. Do you still look like that, by the way? Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you deal with the amount of sand? Did it get in your pants and things like that? And in between your toes and things? Oh, it got in between a lot of things. <laughs> I love interviewing. I really don't see it as interviewing. I'd rather think of it as being a chat. What do you think the key to women's emancipation or liberation is? One thing I am interested in, when we look at women, we know their vital statistics, 34, 24, 34. What do you look for in a man? Are you homophobic? Are these people homophobic? Is that why they won't allow, allow condoms? Incidentally, what does silicon breast feel like? Does this have anything to do with the fact that you really don't like men very much? Do you pay a lot of attention to detail when you, when you do these yeah, things? Yeah, I do, I do. Really? Well, I'd just like to point out one thing. You've spelt calendar wrong. How's it wrong? It's A-R for calendar. Well, that's 
something which my designer has right. muffed up here. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. And thanks anyway. That's I mean, I. Okay, it's my pleasure. Welcome for the last time in this series to the Last Word Lounge. Over the past 16 weeks, a whole range of characters rolled up to argue sexual turn ons, ghosts, our problems with the French, cheating, noisy vibrators, celebrity lawsuits, <laughs> and even the odd birthday suit. Conversation, confrontation, and comedy, but was it culture or just a good laugh after the pub? <laughs> Hooray, at last the clocks have gone forward, Young Men's Sap is rising and April is fully here. So it's time for us to get all summary and think about the big films Hollywood intends to chuck at us for those long footy and mouthy evenings. And to help me weed out the wheat from the chaff or the foot from the mouth, here's Alan Morrison from Total Film. It's the complete guide to some like it's hot, it costs £100 and dropped from a height would kill a small dog. Here's a treat with the new PlayStation game, The Italian Job. You were only supposed to blow the bloody doors off! It's the special edition, completely uncensored DVD of Enter the Dragon, Bruce Lee's finest moment. Now, you get to see him with nunchucks and those evil star things. Chokingly exciting, I'm sure you'll agree. Also, with the movie, after all these weeks on the Bombay beat, we finally made the grade. This is the venue for what looks set to be the high spot of Bombay's social calendar. Hello, I'm Nikki Beatty and welcome to Worldwide Screen. More award news, but this time in India. There's been controversy surrounding the prestigious government-backed National Film Awards. The biggest awards went to Anil Kapoor and Ravina Tandon, two big Bollywood stars. Traditionally, the parallel cinema or art house actors would walk away with those laurels, not the big Bollywood names. So, three jury members resigned in protest, complaining that these prizes weren't given on merit, but on the actors' closeness to the ruling political party in India, the BJP.